Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from NM Watch and we are back with another re-review. So when I mention review, basically what I'm doing is just going through a few of my uh, a few of watches my collection that you know I want to just revisit and see how I feel about them and tell you how I feel about them and how I use them in my daily life, right? Um, in this case, this is the Ball Fireman Ducks Unlimited. Um, I bought this somewhere around 11, um, um, November 2021 to celebrate um, an achievement. Uh, I think I, I just can't remember what the achieve, achievement was. Uh, I think I've got like maybe a thousand bucks on that particular month, and I decided to, I've decided to treat myself with a nice Swiss Swiss watch. Which uh, interestingly, I the first Swiss watch, Swiss made watch that I've reviewed is is was a ball. Right, um, I've I remember I've borrowed a I think it was another Feynman, but it's much smaller case. Uh, I just can't remember what 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 the model name. I I might be pop pop. I just put some pictures over here. Um, that watch I just I was just blown away by the quality of the watch and of course the three tm tube that was available on every ball watch might be wrong there, but yeah, I think that their current lineup lineup features almost everything with. Um, tritium tube so i i said to myself one day i'm gonna get one ball and there you go <laughs> all right so i've got one anyways um that's just you know what let's just quickly check the the dimension on this, on this particular piece because i completely forgot because this one is yeah it's the review was like two years back so yeah 40 millimeters in diameter as i remember it yeah 40 mil in diameter thickness is just 12.1 uh, because it is using the silita sw 200 movement and a lot to lot of about 48 i think uh yeah that's um okay 48.7 so it's a bit uh, long and 20 millimeters in luck with and of course it didn't came with this rubber strap but rather it came on a hmm, h-link bracelet which which has no tapers and to make it worse it used a uh, butterfly class which i absolutely hate anyway i put it on this rubber strap and let's just <laughs> quickly check the how much does it weigh it weighs at about 90 grams which is uh, perfect for me and for my daily use and it has a sapphire crystal all right sapphire crystal uh, at the front okay and there's no display case back <laughs> okay and yeah let's just take uh, it out there okay so what do i think after two years of use using this particular watch i absolutely still love it although it looks a bit quirky and you don't really see many guys or girls wearing this particular ball fireman ducks unlimited i don't know why yeah it looks a bit weird because we have a dead wheel date wheel at, at the three o'clock and we have that nine uh our marker stamp at what 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 does <laughs> maybe they wanted to achieve a balance so yeah we have this cross hair hairline not hairline cross hair what's this line line here line there so some if they just if they didn't put anything at the nine o'clock it might make it a bit weird but adding a big huge number nine here you know what let's just <laughs> let's just sorry guys you can't see it okay so yes let's just yep check out that number nine that very very oddball number nine there so yep i don't know why they put it there but it kind of works it kind of grows on me but yeah the first thing that i didn't really like was that particular number nine okay so that's stop let's just talk about num the number nine the dial right i just love this dial it's 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 not really that um, black it has a bit of um sunburst look to it but it's not really that uh, prominent so which is good because i just don't really like uh sunburst dial anymore i used to like sunburst style but i no longer like them but if if it, it you if i if i found if i find something that has a little bit of sunburst that's enough for me but yeah I, I i would go for a matte black any time of the day anyways <laughs> let's that's the dial and we have this ball printing at the uh, 12 o'clock under the 60 minute uh, printed in yellow which is <laughs> nice a bit odd but nice and official railway standard since 1980 sorry 1891 i don't really have to go around and tell you about the why it is uh, official railroad standard but yeah you might want to 
you know google and why <laughs> we go google about that but yeah um ducks unlimited tea swiss sorry swiss made um with this let's just zoom in a bit tea swiss made tea tea maybe stands for tea tea uh, not not tea i'm sorry tritium so this is of course it has 63 tritium tubes on the dial sorry on the dial we have 60 on the hands we have three that i think i just can't remember of any other uh watch any other ball in in ball collection that has that much tritium tube so do let me know if i'm wrong there and yeah we have this uh, hands which is polish which is not to my liking but still i love it and we have this yellow second hands which <laughs> looks absolutely cool it just give it enough pop to an otherwise boring and weird looking dial right let's just let's that's just the dial the bezel right so you don't really see this anywhere and anywhere on other watchmakers so it, it from the top it looks simple a, a simple watch a simple bezel it is polished yeah it kind of sucks but check out the side profile guys so we have this um <laughs> chamfer here and we have this um, uh, straight line here and we have this curved chamfer at the bottom side of the of the of the uh, bezel which is which is cool and not really everyone appreciate it but i think it is a cool feature which of course doesn't serve any purpose whatsoever but i just love the look of it <laughs> right so the polished um side uh, profile here on the case where yeah, you can see there are tons of scratches there um initially i i just when when i got a f the first scratch on this particular watch i was like oh no there goes my first ever swiss made watch but yeah after that i was like hmm it doesn't matter because these watches are made to be used right again, anyway <laughs> so again uh quite a lot of scratches on the side of the case but check out that case guys although this is a 40 mil dial it's 40 mil watch case the, the curve of this particular uh, lux really really helps right uh, in giving me that you know, the comfort that i need and this crown it's a bit big i've totally forgot to check out the the crown size how big is it uh seven mil yeah that's nice and it's really really easy to use right um so our again rail rail road rail road i think rr and yeah it looks i just love this thing right you know we have something a little bit more there's one more thing that i really like about this particular of course that's gonna be the uh, treat them too <laughs> hopefully that I can, I can show you guys how it looks anyway so we have this super oh sorry ducks unlimited established 1937 uh, shock resistance uh, swiss made uh before i completely forgot this the the tritium tube is was made by microtech right mb microtech self uh h3 uh 3h illumination and we have this is the model number this is the serial number and i think this one also has a um, a magnetic protection thingy i just can't remember on top of my head what what it was but yeah still a nice watch for a daily use in my opinion at least right let's just put it on the wrist and let's do a quick wrist watch check but we do that let's yep this is my other swiss made watch which is this um christopher ward c63 36 millimeter no sorry sorry see <laughs> christopher ward god i just can't remember it's a christopher ward c63 36 bloody hell i just can't remember <laughs> i'll pop up the the modern name here guys i'm so sorry <laughs> anyways all right so let's just compare it 36 mil versus 40 mil yeah i love the c6 mil watches guys but this 40 mil is not that bad oh i've completely forgot to mention this rubber strap is from unidive which is a brand from uh, aliexpress and this is a you can see that there's no holes whatsoever on this particular strap because it has this uh, adjustable fully adjustable strap system you just have to slide it through and voila we've got ourselves a nice fitted rubber strap yeah that looks cool in my opinion so zoom out 40 mil no issues uh 6.75 on 17 centimeters wrist conference love this thing i'm gonna keep it this is definitely a a keeper all right i'm not gonna be selling this uh, the christopher award ah <sighs> you know what i i used to like this color but now mm, i don't know maybe i should sell this and keep this one yeah 
Of course, this is a keyword, but this one, uh, yeah. <laughs> let's just let's just take this one out of the frame and check out what is the most interesting bit about this particular watch. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one, and boom! It is yep that 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 three TM tube, those six C three tubes on the watch. It looks absolutely gorgeous in my opinion, and yeah, I'm completely lucky because normally it is very very difficult to film that those tube because it is it shines really really bright during the night when there is no light so whatsoever i still have a few uh it's a bit light here in the room but yeah check out those three team tube guys i just love this thing and i just feel that <laughs> for the watch for the money that i paid for this it was it cost me quite a lot back then how much was it um close to 800 bucks but this one also cost me something similar you know if i have to choose between the two if, if you guys have to choose between the two which one should you go you go for the ball or the, for the christopher ward my money is on the ball right definitely this one anyways <laughs> that's just my review of or my two years review of this awesome uh, ball uh, fireman ducks unlimited um yeah like i said just now this is a keeper as long as i i can afford to wear this watch i'll definitely not gonna be selling it but yeah still if maybe one day i feel that yeah i want to upgrade to something a whole lot more in another price bracket yeah i might sell this but mm, nah, I, don't, I, I don't think so what do you guys think should i keep it should i <laughs> should i move it on but yeah still love this thing anyways please give me a big thumbs up if you like this video and if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one please such as this one please go ahead and subscribe and i'll see you soon stay safe and bye bye